So the postman's just been, we've had a delivery, but it's not photography related for once, but it should help me take more pictures. Goodbye camera. Hello cycling toe clips. Now these, I think I probably paid a bit too much for them considering, but a new old stock toe clips for my bicycle. If you've ever wondered why modern pedals are called clipless, it's they needed another name that didn't involve clips and these were toe clips. So there you go. Anyway, these, if the construction noise outside can stop for a minute. are gonna go on here. And I've made some upgrades to the, my bike. So new pedals that actually spin and aren't rusty. New toe clips. Oh my God, this construction noise. Anyway, sorry about the construction noise. So upgrades to the bike are pedals, new toe clips, new chain, because the last one went rusty. And yes, a white bike saddle. Um, I did want it in black. They didn't have any in black, this was on sale. And this is my first cutout saddle, uh, specifically because my balls hurt. So hopefully I can cycle further and take more pictures. Anyway, these need to go on this. Okay, job done. And personally, I think that looks much better than what we had. These were getting a bit long in the tooth. Bin. Or recycling. So I'm sure some people that are from a cycling background are wondering why I use clipping pedals rather than clipless and it's a very simple reason really. I just don't like the shoes that go with proper clipping pedals. Clipless pedals. Stupid naming conventions with these things. So yeah when I'm cycling I, I like to be able to get off the bike and go and have a walk on the beach and actually use proper shoes so that's why I've always used toe clips on my road bike. So another reason for upgrading the bike is because COVID's basically made me fat. Yeah, working from home isn't actually so bad for me. I'm actually more productive, but the bad part about it is I don't actually move around that much. Getting a cup of coffee means going from here to here. Um, unlike in the office where I'd have to go down in the lift, walk outside, go to a shop, pick it up, walk all the way back to the office. And just walking around, don't end up doing it enough. So hopefully by getting the bike back together, I might actually lose my beer belly. Now from a photography perspective, hopefully this will allow me to get around Singapore a little bit more and be able to take my cameras with me. I have two challenges that I need to solve before we can do that. One is how do I carry this camera so I can vlog while cycling? Now I've seen Francis Cade's YouTube channel, I follow that and it's a great channel, but I have no idea how he rides one-handed the way he does and carries a huge camera like this. The second one is if I want to take my film cameras like my Leicas with me, I need a waterproof bag to go on the camera to put the camera in basically and maybe a small tripod of some description. So if you've got any ideas around how I can do that for the bicycle, uh, carrying this camera and a waterproof bag for that camera that doesn't look crazy, leave it in the comments below. So anyway, that's a short vlog for today. We got the bike up and running. I need to now have some lunch and get back to work. And hopefully I can get out on the bicycle, although it looks like it might rain again. So maybe I won't actually start losing this beer belly today. Anyway, thanks for watching the channel. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. And thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.